Here we have finding the initial amount in a word problem on continuous compound interest. So for continuous compound interest, it's another formula. It's A equals PE to the RT. So there's exponential growth or decay, which is the A equals P1 plus or minus R to the power T. Then there's compounded, right? Which is A equals P parentheses 1 plus R in close the parentheses to the power n times t and then you have continuous compound interest which is a equals p e to the rt okay so there's three different formulas and all of them are used in three different cases so let's just review that again we got three formulas we've got um, exponential growth or decay and that one's this Then you have compound interest, which is A equals P1 plus R over N to the NT. And then you have uh, compounded continuously or continuous compound, however you say it, continuous compound interest either way whichever word comes in front of the other it doesn't matter you can say it either way it's this formula so you have three different formulas depending on the situation now this one does say the word continuous and compound together so i know it's this formula here so it says keisha wants to buy a bond that will mature to five thousand five hundred in eight years so that means time is eight years she wants this amount eight years so that has to be the a because that's the amount afterward it's a, how much should she pay for the bond now if it earns interest at a rate of 0 0.025 compounded continuously so they want to know the value right now which means they want to know p so if i plug everybody into the formula p is going to be the only value that is unknown And so then, if P is the only value unknown, what the heck is 0 0.025 times 8? So let me rewrite this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is multiply this exponent together just to simplify it. Okay, and then this is just a number. So if I want to solve for P, I need to divide by that number on both sides. So then I get P equals to this number. Let's type that in our calculator. 5500 over e to the 0 0.2 and I get 4503.02 because it's money right so I would have to invest this amount now in order for it to grow to the amount after eight years if it does tell you to write to the nearest dollar then only put 4503 but if it says round to the nearest cent, then you put the two cents.